Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Inside the Film Room with Lainey Gerber. And this week, I am joined by former OSU wide receiver Chris Lacey. Chris, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Chris played at OSU from 2014 to 2017 and is now an NFL free agent. So this first clip is a Braden Johnson touchdown catch. It looks like an in route. What do you like about this play here? Uh, I like the speed. I like. I always love when offenses can just take a shot. Um, I don't know what the down and distance was or anything. I can't see any of that. But I just I like seeing big plays, and that's a big time player right there with a lot of speed, and it, it paid off for a touchdown. And he's able to get a lot of separation right here in the middle. How do you think he was able to create that gap? Okay, yeah, that that wasn't the in route. That looked like that was a go. They just ended up being underthrown, and he just had to adjust to the ball. But yeah, that's pure athleticism. It was one on one, and he just ran by the dude. And even with the underthrown ball, he was still he still had the separation. So that's just man beating the man. A lot of the times when the receiver and their defender are just right on top of each other, how do you kind of know when to either cut to the inside or the outside or just purely try to outrun them? Uh, so, I mean, most of the time you already have a route that you're supposed to be running just based on the play and how the play is designed. But as far as like um, if you're going to inside release or outside release, I mean, you want to look at the DB's technique, you want to see where the safety is and just see like what, what would be the best way to get to where you need to go at, in the fastest way possible. That's, that's, those are things that us receivers look at pre, before the ball is actually snapped. This is uh, Tylen Wallace's first touchdown of the game and of the season. Uh, obviously there's some miscommunication among the Kansas defense because he just ends up in a wide open field. Um, and I noticed that he puts his hand, his arm out just to kind of signal to his QB, Shane Illingworth, like, hey, I'm wide open over here. How important is it that he gets Shane's attention there? Um, Because, like, in that play, it might have been designed to go somewhere else. But, um, like you said, there was a miscommunication on defense, and um, he ran right by everybody, and he's wide open. So, I mean, putting that hand up, then, then the quarterback is able to see, oh, I have a man wide open. So that that uh, brought his attention to him to where he, he didn't miss out on a wide open, easy touchdown. And yeah, how important is it just to make sure that as a receiver, you capitalize on those mistakes? Oh yeah, definitely. You always gotta capitalize on those kind of mistakes because I mean, this is the college level, everybody's good. I mean, those don't come all the time. And to get some easy points like that, I mean, hey, you take them however you can get them because it might not come as easy uh, next play. And this is uh, Tylen's other touchdown of that game. And he kind of makes his legs stop way closer than his momentum wants him to. And we know that toe tapping and just being able to make your legs go dead is super important for receivers to be able to do. So how do you just stay so aware of your position on the field so that can be executed? Uh, just from it's just from uh, experience and playing, uh, you kind of get a feel for what the lines are. Uh, I remember I talked to him, gave him a little advice after I made it to the league. Just told him to work on uh, his pro feet, because you know in college you only have to get one foot in bounds, but once you get to the league, you have to have two feet in bounds. So, look like he's been working on it. Uh, he was very very field aware. He caught the ball and made sure he he looked like he got four or five feet down. So mm -hmm. uh, that's always something that you want to. Uh, be work on your field awareness. All right, and then this is just a deep pass um, to Tylen early in the game. He's, you can kind of see him at the bottom of the screen the entire time. Can you just break down this play and the route, just starting from how he's lined up and how he takes off? Okay, it looks like, um, it's like just a simple go route. Um, looks like it might be cover, look like cover one is man, man, uh, man coverage and it's just him and he has to beat that corner and I like the way after he got his release he kind of saved some space for the quarterback to just drop the ball on his outside shoulder he didn't fade to the ball and let it land on the inside and give the DB a chance to make a play on it but like I said he let the ball fall on his outside shoulder to where it was either he was going to catch it or it would be a drop and we all know Tyler Wallace has good hands so mm -hmm. he um, made the play looks like what, a good, good uh, route to me and what do you mean when you say that he gives his QB space or creates space 
So a lot of times uh, receivers, when they run uh, go routes, they let the DB push them all the way to the sideline to where the, the quarterback doesn't have space to put the ball to where only he can get it. So when, when they do that, it makes it hard on the quarterback and sometimes they might um, throw it out of bounds or it might be too far inside to where the DB can make a play on it. So like, like I said, he saved some space to where the quarterback was able to just put it right to where only he can get it. And again, he kind of makes his legs go dead. Just He literally just falls to the ground after he catches it. So that way yep, he that, can stay that, in bounds. Yep, that's that field awareness. He knew he was close to the sideline, so he had to make sure he got a body part down or something. <laughs> you always want to compete. Um, I would say you have to be relentless. Um, and of course, you got to have some great hands. So you just got to be able to catch, of course. You got to be relentless and you got to always want to compete. Nice. And why'd you say Coach John would like that? Is that what he always says? Oh, yeah. That, he has that tatted on him. Uh, the word <laughs> compete. Like, he used to preach that when, when we were back over on the state. Compete, compete, compete. He loves it. Oh, nice. Well, thank you so much again for breaking down film with me and being the first offensive guy that I've talked to this season. Uh, the Kansas game was definitely a good game for this to be the first time that I do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm honored to uh, help you out. Of course. Thank you so much.